Welcome to the Clear T. Kearney Library's tutorial on primary and secondary sources. Understanding the roles and importance of primary and secondary sources in the social sciences and humanities is an invaluable skill. This tutorial will teach you how to identify primary and secondary sources as well as how they are used in research. Let's begin with primary sources. A good question to ask is how far removed is the author from the activity he or she is writing or speaking about? A primary source is created by someone directly involved in or present during an activity or event. It is not analyzed or interpreted. You must analyze and interpret the material. Here are a few examples of types of materials that can be used as primary sources. Research articles are a common primary source in the social sciences. These articles are written by the people who conducted the research and are often published in peer-reviewed journals. In this example, Thomas J. Johnson and Courtney Stahl are writing about their research, which was published in the Journal of Social Psychology. I have some very sad news for all of you, and I think uh, sad news for all of our fellow citizens and people who love peace all over the world, and that is that the, Martin Luther King was shot and was killed tonight in Memphis, Memphis. Speeches are commonly used as primary sources in disciplines such as history. This speech by Robert Kennedy could, for example, be used as a primary source by a historian studying public reaction to King's assassination. Data collections such as those compiled by the Census Bureau are also primary sources. These collections provide raw data that has not been analyzed or interpreted. So why are primary sources useful? Primary sources allow you to examine and evaluate the original material independent from the judgments and conclusions of others. Having the original work allows the researcher to make his or her own interpretations without bias. Thus fiction, such as this Robert Frost poem, can be a primary source. Maps are often used by historians to help them understand communities and their histories. This directory is a snapshot of people and services available in Fall River in 2003. Photos allow you to see real characteristics that descriptions may have a hard time capturing. Now let's look at secondary sources. Secondary sources are written by people further removed from an event. These authors often provide commentary, analysis, and criticism of primary sources. If you're researching global warming, this recent Newsweek article would be an example of a secondary source. It reports on other people's arguments and research. It is also written by a reporter, not the person who conducted the research. Even fiction can be a primary source, but remember that the subject matter itself should be considered secondary. In this example, we would treat Dennis Lehane's description of Boston as a secondary source. Whether a source is considered primary or secondary often depends on your research question. For example, suppose your research question is the following. How does the U.S.'s dependence on oil influence foreign policy? Notice that the question is about the relationship between the dependence on oil and foreign policy. Therefore, an editorial by Vice President Gore is a secondary source because Gore is interpreting, analyzing, and synthesizing the research of others. The same editorial would be a primary source if you're researching Gore's political or environmental philosophy. Notice that in this example, your research is now about President Gore's philosophy. This editorial allows you to examine Vice President Gore through his own words, which are not interpreted or analyzed. The editorial is therefore raw material written by the person you're studying. 
When reading a critical essay, you will often find footnotes which refer back to sources the author used in order to back up his or her arguments or interpretations. If you're not an expert in the field, it will help you understand the literary work. If you have questions about primary or secondary sources, feel free to contact Kari Mofford or Matt Sylvain.